In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can show different website header to our visitors depending upon their login status. Here in this example, we can see we have a buy now button here in our header and right now I'm not logged in. And here in another window, I am logged in in my WordPress account and here we have an upgrade option instead of buy now. So let's see how we can switch these headers depending upon the login status of our WordPress website visitor. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. So here we are in our WordPress backend. And if we go in the plugin section, here we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as pro version. And we also need a header builder. So for that, we are going to use Nexter extension free as well as the pro version. And by using these extensions, along with our Nexter WordPress theme, we will be able to create custom templates on our Gutenberg WordPress website. So once we have activated Nexter extensions, we can now see Nexter builder option here. And here we can see all the custom templates that we have created. And in order to create a custom header, we need to create a new template. So for that, we need to click on add new and let's give it a name, custom header. And if we scroll down at the very bottom, we have Nexter builder option. Let's click on this. So here we can choose the layout of this template. So we are going to choose section and here we can choose as header. And after selecting this, we get more options. First one is header type. So here we can choose if it is normal, sticky on both. Right now we just go with normal. And after this, we have display rules where we want to show this header. So in the include in part, we will select entire website, but you can go ahead and play around with various options. But right now, just to keep it simple, we will choose entire website. And we also have exclude from option. So if you want to exclude this header from certain pages, you can do that from here, but we will leave it as it is. And if we scroll up and then close this option here, we get a complete area where we can add various Gutenberg blocks and build our custom header. So we are going to start by adding TP container block. So let's click on this. And these are actually Flexbox containers. So we are going to choose this one so that we can align all the element in one single row. Let's click on this. And now if we click on this plus sign, let's start by adding our logo. So we will choose TP site logo block. And here we can add our custom image. So let's upload this from here. And let's select this file. And the size will be full. And and for the maximum width, we can change this to maybe 200. And in the advanced section, under spacing, we will add some margin. So let's unlink this first. And for the right, we will add 10 pixel and 10 from the left. And once that is done, we will now click on these three dots and then choose insert after. So now we can add the next element in our header. So for this, we are going to use TP navigation menu. And here either we can choose WordPress navigation or our manual navigation. So right now let's go with WordPress menu and we will choose navigation layout as horizontal. And here we will choose our menu. So now we can see the menu items here. All right, let's go to style. And in the main menu, we will, we can change the typography from here. So let's say we select font as poppins and font weight as 500 and font size, maybe 14 pixel. And let's increase the font weight to maybe 600. All right. If we go down here in the text color, we can either choose the global colors and same for the hover. And we can also choose our custom color from here. So it's better we stick with the global color palette. So this is how it's going to look. And once we are done with the navigation, again, 
we will click on insert after and then we will add a button so we are going to use tp button block and here we can choose from these various tiles so let's say we select this one and for this button we will leave the text as buy now and hover text as click here and here we can enter any custom link but we are going to leave it as it is now let's select our container again so let's open this list view and let's select our tp container and let's close this box from here and now here in the layout section we have an option for flex property where we can edit the properties for this flex box container and here we have the row alignment so we will align this in center and in the column alignment we will choose space between so that we have some equal space between all the elements and now we go to advance and under margin let's unlink this first and let's add 10 pixel from top and 10 pixel from bottom and now let's publish this and let's refresh our front end so now we have our header and we have our buy now button now for any visitor on our website no matter if they are logged in or not they are going to see this header only now for this example we will consider that a new visitor will see a buy now button and a logged in visitor will see an upgrade option here so for that we need to again select our container and then we will click on duplicate so now we have two headers let's click on the button here and for this one we will change the title as upgrade so now we have two headers with different button here and now we need to set some conditions based on the login status of our visitor so for that we need to go to advance and here we have plus extra display rules and once we turn this on here we can see display rules active on this header or on this container and here we can set the rule we have two options it says all rules are true or any one rule is true so right now we will select all rules and here we can set the rules so for this one we are only going to set one rule and that is login status and condition will be is logged in so if the visitor is logged in the upgrade button header should be visible so let's close this box and now select our first header and for this container we are again going to click on advance in the display rules let's turn this on and for the rule we are going to set login status is not logged in so let's update this so now we are done with the conditions as well so let's try it in the front end and see how it looks so right now in this window i'm logged in in my wordpress backend and let's go ahead and refresh this page so now instead of buy now it's showing me upgrade button here which is our second header if we come back here in our private or incognito window let's refresh this as well it's again showing the same buy now button so it means based on the login status we now have different headers for our wordpress website so this is how easy it is to show different headers to our website visitors based on their login status so if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and if you want to deep dive in the world of wordpress using gutenberg then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.